No, there's two people speaking. Don't worry. It's like going to be five minutes. Don't complain. They got the tax now they go to the final tax? I have lost any block. Bonjour, good morning. It's, uh, it's good to be back. Good morning to all of you. I'm uh, very pleased to be here to talk about the very first action of this government in the new parliament. As all of you know, we've made significant efforts over the course of the last four years to help out Canadians, to help out families. We've lowered taxes on middle class Canadians. We've increased child benefits so families can raise their children. We've helped students along the way, and of course, we've also tried to make sure that seniors have more money to uh, have a retirement and dignity. All of these actions have meant that we have had a strong level of growth in our country. We've had among the lowest levels of unemployment we've seen in a very long time. But as we know, there continues to be economic anxiety and economic challenges. C'est pourquoi aujourd'hui, le gouvernement a pris une mesure pour réduire les impôts de la classe moyenne et ceux des gens qui travaillent fort pour en faire partie. Il s'agit d'un plan qui aidera les Canadiens à conserver une plus grande part de l'argent qu'ils gagnent, et ce, en haussant le montant personnel de base, ce qui représente le montant qu'ils peuvent gagner avant de devoir payer l'impôt fédéral sur le revenu. Nous proposons de hausser ce montant à 15 000 dollars d'ici 2023. So we, we know that the very first thing that we want to move forward in is a reduction in taxes for middle class Canadians. It's why today we are moving forward with that as the first order of business. The way we're going to do that is by taking the basic personal exemption, the amount that people can deduct so that they don't actually have to pay taxes until they hit that amount. We're going to raise that amount. We're going to raise that amount to $15,000 between here 
in 2023. We know that that will have an important impact. Mona is going to talk, uh, uh, Minister Fortier is going to talk a little bit about the uh, details of how that impacts families and, uh, and individuals. But I think very importantly, what it means is that 20 million Canadians will see a tax reduction, a reduction that will increase over the period from here to 2023. It also means that 1.1 million more Canadians will pay no federal tax at all. So we know this is going to have a very, impact, very important impact on, on those 20 million Canadians. But at the same time, we're doing it in a way that's means-tested, so that it doesn't actually impact the top 1%. So it will be means-tested away so that the impact goes to those 20 million Canadians that we're intending to do it for. So we're very pleased to talk about this and the more detail from uh, Minister Fortier. Merci, Ministre Morneau. Bon matin, tout le monde. Comme l'a mentionné le ministre Morneau, notre gouvernement continue à déployer les efforts afin d'améliorer la qualité de vie de la classe moyenne et de tous les gens qui travaillent fort pour en faire partie. C'est pourquoi notre premier point à l'ordre du jour, en 2015, consistait à aller de l'avant avec la baisse d'impôts promise pour la classe moyenne. Et c'est pour cela que notre premier point, cette fois-ci, est de faire de même. En 2015, nous avons demandé aux Canadiens les plus riches, qui représentent 1 de la population, de payer un peu plus pour que nous soyons en mesure de réduire les impôts pour la classe moyenne. Cette baisse d'impôts a aidé plus de 9 millions de Canadiens, puisqu'elle a remis des centaines de dollars dans les poches des gens de la classe moyenne. Et faire passer le montant personnel de base à 15 000 représenterait des centaines de dollars de plus dans leurs poches. Lorsque ce changement sera entièrement mis en œuvre en 2023, une personne seule économiserait près de 300 dollars par année en impôts. Et pour les familles, y compris les familles monoparentales, cela se traduirait par des économies de près de 600 dollars par année. C'est un changement qui permettrait aux gens de conserver une plus grande part de ce qu'ils gagnent et qui rendrait le coût de la vie plus abordable pour la classe moyenne et pour tous ceux qui travaillent fort pour en faire partie. When this change is fully rolled out in 2023, a single person would save close to $300 a year in taxes. And for families, including those led by a single parent, the savings would be close to $600 a year. It's a change that would let, help, help, let people keep more of what they earn and help make life more affordable for the middle class and those working hard to join it. Comme l'a mentionné le ministre Morneau, il y a encore beaucoup de travail à faire pour assurer que le Canada est un pays où tout le monde a une chance de réussir, où tout le monde peut prospérer. L'annonce d'aujourd'hui fait partie de ce travail. C'est avec plaisir que nous répondrons à vos questions. Mr. Morneau, uh, can you tell us uh, when this will take place? It's a ways and means motion, I guess, and it's a confidence motion. So how confident are you that you will get the confidence of the House? Uh, as you said, this is a ways and means, means motion. We look forward to working with the other parties. It's obviously something we campaigned on, and we uh, look forward to having this effective on 1-1-2020. Uh, uh, nous devons travailler avec les autres parties, et je voudrais assurer les autres parties que nous voulons travailler avec eux, mais en même temps, uh, nous voulons le support des autres parties. Have you worked out how much it's going to save a person on their paycheck? It said $300 a year. What's that for, for paycheck? Well, you know, um, with uh, this paycheck will help to, with the $300 or $600 for families, it will help ends meet and help families have access to more activities after school. It's $11 Maybe put, well, it's still money that is combined with all of the measures that we've put in since 2015. It will help families cover some costs that they want to send their kids to camp or to put money aside for retirement. On, on va commencer aussitôt que possible. On va commencer euh, immédiatement et on va travailler avec les autres parties pour euh, 1-1-2020. Donc ça, c'est la date de commencement. 
When you meet with the finance ministers next week, how willing are you to change the fiscal stabilization program? That's a, a united demand from the Council of the Federation, three provinces in particular looking for help there. What, I know it's on the agenda, but how willing are you to change it? And how significant would you change, be willing to change it? Well, I think next week is a really important first step. We're looking forward to getting together with the finance ministers. The idea is that we're going to listen, uh, work together, try and understand their, their, uh, their position. That's the important start in a, in a discussion. Il y a des gens qui réclament une mise à jour économique et financière, notamment le Parti conservateur. Est-ce que vous êtes d'avis que c'est nécessaire à l'heure actuelle compte tenu du contexte économique? Uh, je voudrais avoir une, uh, une uh, mise à jour économique avant Noël. C'est quelque chose d'important pour expliquer aux Canadiens l'état de notre économie. Ça, c'est une, une chose importante. Je n'ai pas encore une date, mais ça va être entre ici et Noël. Juste pour revenir sur l'annonce aujourd'hui. Sorry, I'm sorry. English yeah, yeah. on the follow-up. Our, our plan is to have a fiscal update before Christmas so that we can update Canadians on the state of the economy. Mais juste pour revenir sur l'annonce d'aujourd'hui, vous espérez, vous avez besoin de l'appui d'au moins un autre parti. Avez-vous déjà parlé à un autre parti et avez-vous des indications qui sont prêts à vous appuyer? Nous n'avons pas encore parler avec les autres parties, mais je voudrais parler avec les autres parties pour euh, assurer que nous euh, nous écoutons. Euh, en même temps, je voudrais avoir le support des autres parties pour euh, améliorer la situation de, des Canadiens et des Canadiens. Mr. Morneau, the NDP says that if you capped this change to $90,000, you'd be able to save enough money um, every year to pay for dental care. Is that something you would even consider? As I said, we, we are looking forward to working with other parties. Uh, we uh, campaigned on an approach that was going to reduce taxes for, for 20 million Canadians. It's, it's a very significant measure that will put, you know, in the first year, $3 billion more money into middle class Canadians' pockets. That's, we think, really important. De reprendre l'argent des gens qui gagnent plus cher. Pourquoi est-ce que ce n'était pas dans la promesse électorale, si ma mémoire est bonne? Mais si, mais, et si ce l'était, pourquoi aller chercher cet argent-là? Est-ce que vous espérez garder le, avoir le NPD uh, on board? Est-ce que vous pensez avoir que le bloc serait plus d'accord avec ça? Pourquoi est-ce que vous pensez que ces gens-là ne méritent pas cette réduction? -là? Dans notre campagne, nous avons promis une, une réduction en pot pour la classe moyenne, mais nous avons assuré que ça ne va pas aider les, les plus riches dans notre société. Donc, ça, c'est notre approche. Ça va améliorer la situation des familles dans la classe moyenne, mais en même temps, ça va assurer que l'argent va aller aux gens qui ont besoin. Are you, are you planning to put any other campaign promises in this, in this bill, uh, or is it just that measure? And specifically on the promise about uh, going after large digital companies for tax issues, as you know, that's a point of tension right now between the U.S. and France. There's tariffs on wine. Is Canada going to face a similar uh, approach if you go down that road with the promise? The reason we're moving forward today with this motion is because the first thing we want to do is to come forward to Canadians with the promise to reduce their taxes. We were very clear in the campaign that we wanted to reduce taxes. This is a measure that will help 20 million Canadians. It's a significant measure. On other issues, we will move forward to uh, consider how we actually move them into our, into our agenda over time. On the specific issue around uh, digital taxation, uh, we've talked about the importance of making sure that all companies pay their fair share. We've also talked about the importance of making sure the international system works. So we do need to consider how we work together with other countries through, through the OECD to make that happen. These are important issues on our agenda, and we look forward to moving on. Le premier ministre de l'Alberta, M. Kenney, est en ville aujourd'hui. Vous avez vu sa liste de demandes qui est publiée en pleine page d'un journal. Êtes-vous ouvert à, à dire oui à ces demandes? J'ai pas encore lu les, euh, les, les listes de demandes, mais je vais avoir une rencontre avec, euh, avec le ministre des Finances d'Alberta cet après-midi. Et nous allons écouter. C'est important d'écouter, de, de considérer leurs leur défis. Leurs défis sont vrais. Donc, euh, on va écouter et travailler ensemble pour euh, améliorer la situation à travers le pays, y compris l'Alberta. In English, on the Jason Kenney stuff, if you don't mind, sir. I, uh, I haven't yet had the opportunity to read uh, Premier Kenney's uh, list, but what I can assure Premier Kenney and, uh, and all of his colleagues who are here is that we're looking forward to listening. I have the opportunity to meet with the Alberta Finance Minister this afternoon. We're going to listen. We're going to work together. We know that the challenges in Alberta and Saskatchewan are real. We want to make sure that Canadians across the country, including in Alberta and Saskatchewan, uh, see the benefit from the things that we're doing. 
And just to be clear, the tax reduction that we're talking about today will help 20 million Canadians. And that includes Canadians in Alberta and Saskatchewan and other places where people are experiencing challenges. Mr. On, the, on the digital taxes, uh, uh, are you fully committed to going forward even with the threat of a strong tariff response from a place like the United States? We've been very clear that we want to make sure that digital companies pay their fair share of taxes in our country. So that means that we will move forward. We do think that moving forward together with the OECD in that process is the best way to ensure that happens because these companies are international and we want to make sure that they pay their fair share of tax and, and don't find a way around it. So we will be working together with other countries to get there and of course we will be doing it in a way that uh, gets the results we want, but it's cooperative. But I had revenue coming right away from that, which suggested you would act without the OECD, right? As I've said, we will look forward to moving on this agenda item, and we will look forward to doing it in a way that ensures that we, we get the results we want in terms of the fair tax system, and we don't find ourselves in a situation where the international system doesn't work as a result. On the stabilization reserve. On the stabilization. Merci. Merci. Thank you very much.